What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. Before I go in any further, I got a pop quiz for you. What is 10% of 90? If you're able to solve a question like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can let you know, welcome to the Simba family. If you're unable to solve a question like this or don't know where to begin to solve a question like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because today's video is made just for you. We are gonna be going over the basics on how to solve percentage-based questions. So whichever end of the spectrum that you fall on, as you hit that subscribe button, strap in, get your notebook, because today's video is going to be a great one. So stay tuned because it's coming up. So before we get into the fun stuff, I just want to say to everybody that's tuning in, welcome to today's video. Obviously, if you're watching me right now, it's because you want a little refresher when it comes to math fundamentals. So welcome. Today's video is going to be all about percentages. I also have another confession for you. Today's video is going to be more or less a pop quiz for you than it will be a study session. Reason being is I want to see what you know or what you don't know when it comes to percentage based questions. So this video is going to have a bunch of questions one after the next about how to solve for percentages. I want you to grab your notebook. I want you to grab something to write with and if you need i want you to go ahead and grab a calculator as well because as we go over the questions in this video my next upload is going to be me actually breaking down each question so i want you to bring your answer sheet to the next video that i'm going to be uploading and that's where we're going to go over in great detail how to solve these questions so just to finalize everything that i just said this video is going to be a pop quiz. The next video is going to be me going over all of the answers to this pop quiz. And I'm also considering doing a live study session with these same set of questions to accommodate anybody who has questions to ask in real time. However, all of it is going to be based off of the questions that I'm going to be posting in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So before we jump into the questions, there's some things that you're going to need to know in order to solve these questions in the first place. The first being, what is a percentage? A percentage is anything based out of 100, meaning 100% is referring to the whole group. It's referring to the whole bunch. It's referring to everything. So 100% of the fingers that I'm holding up right now would mean that 10 would be the number. 10 would be 100% of my fingers. If Simba Alexander was working in a factory and he chopped off 100% of his fingers, that would mean that all 10 digits would be gone. So I just want to let you guys know that even though that was kind of a dark analogy, I just want to let you guys know that a percentage is based out of 100. Anything based out of 100. And 100 is referring to the whole amount of the group of whatever it is that we're talking about. It could be money, it could be people, it could be objects, it could be time, it could be anything, okay? 100% is referring to the whole unit. So I'm just trying to give you guys these little tips before you jump into today's pop quiz. Don't forget, in the comment section down below, go ahead and comment however many questions that you got wrong. So if it's three, I got three wrong, or I got seven wrong, I got none wrong, you know? I got 100%. On the test you see that 100 percent. there we go with the percentages so without further ado let me go ahead and let you guys jump into today's pop quiz there are eight people in a room two leave to use the bathroom what percentage of people have left the room there are eight people in a room two leave to use the bathroom what percentage of people have left the room so i want you guys in this video to utilize that play pause feature okay pause the video so that way you can give yourself some time to solve the question when you finish solving the question go ahead and play the video back to roll into the next question there are eight people in a room two leave to use the bathroom what percentage of people are left in the room there are eight people in a room two leave to use the bathroom what percentage of people are left in the room there are five men and three women 
in a room, what percentage are women? There are five men and three women in a room. What percentage are women? What is 10% of 70? What is 10% of 70? What is 10% of 30? What is 10% of 30? What is 15% of 55? What is 15% of 55? What is 100% of 25? What is 100% of 25? What is 25% of 100? What is 25% of 100? What is 5% of 90? What is 5% of 90? What is 3% of 210. What is 3% of 210? What is 75% of 88? What is 75% of 88? Of all of the math questions that I solve on this channel, here's the one that I absolutely have not been able to figure out. Of all of the viewers who come to this channel to get valuable content, why is 89% of you guys not subscribed? No, that's a real question. That's a, that's a real statistic. Of all of the viewers who come here, you guys participate in the live sessions, you guys leave thousands of comments on my videos, and you forget to hit the subscribe button? All right, y'all, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I was mind blown when I seen this statistic. 89% not subscribed? Come on, y'all. Go, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In a class of 50 students, 60% are girls. Find the number of girls and the number of boys in the class. In a class of 50 students, 60% are girls. Find the number of girls and the number of boys in the class. Ron scored 344 marks out of 400 marks, and his elder brother Ben scored 582 marks out of 600 marks. Whose score percentage is better? Ron scored 344 marks out of 400 marks, and his elder brother Ben scored 582 marks out of 600 marks. Whose score percentage is better? In a class of 60 students, 15% of them failed their final exam. How many students passed the exam? In a class of 60 students, 15% of them failed their final exam. How many students passed the exam? In a school of 480 students, 60% are males. Find the number of female students. In a school of 480 students, 60% are males. Find the number of female students. Diane worked 140 hours this month and makes $22 per hour. 60% of her income goes to bills. How much money does Diane have left over? Diane worked 140 hours this month and makes $22 per hour. 
60% of her income goes to bills. How much money does Diane have left over? There it is, guys. There is today's pop quiz on percentages. I just want to say that if you tuned into today's video and you actually participated, great job. Like, I really commend you. It takes a lot to invest in yourself. So whether this 35 minutes, this 45 minutes, this hour long session of you actually taking the time with your notebook and trying to solve each question, fantastic. And may the blessings of the Lord be upon you and you go succeed in whatever it is that you try to do, whether that's the ASVAB, the ACT, the SATs, whatever it is that you have. Great job. I just want to say to everybody else who tuned into today's video, that 89% not subscribed rate is just, come on, unacceptable. Y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button like I've been saying throughout this video because I really like when you guys engage with this channel. Shout out to everybody who's been leaving comments in the comment sections. My email box is full of a bunch of emails that I still have to get back to. So if you emailed me because you want me to be your recruiter, then just bear with me, okay? It's been hectic. You know, this is my first time back on YouTube in a long time. So I will get back to you. Just bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Please don't forget to comment in the comment section down below however many questions that you got wrong, whether it's three to five questions, seven to nine questions, no questions, however many questions that you got wrong. So that way the rest of the community, the rest of the community can also see like, okay, like I'm not the only ones. Okay. And that being said, everybody who participated in this video, make sure that you have the bell icon next to that subscribe button press. So that way you can stay tuned for my next upload, which is going to be the answer sheet or the actual study session to today's video. So all that being said, I just want to let you guys know, thank you guys for tuning in. Always remember that success is made by actions. So get up, go grind. I'll see you next time.